Hello everybody, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I come to you with a heavy heart, very heavy heart. Um, if you're interested in uh, seeing what's so uh, wrong and what's up with this guy, go ahead and just uh, keep watching. <music> came home for my vacation right if you saw it the water my plants um, for my vacation with me uh, I came back from that on Sunday walked in the door and the first thing I saw was my wax ivy my beautiful wax ivy I thought I eradicated the little buggers before but they're still here I still have aphids Oh, see, look, you can even see them right there. Lovely. I'm going to insert a clip of um, some, like, flash footage of these little critters because they're gross. <sighs> I thought instead of giving him a hydrogen peroxide bath again because it's only been a couple months. I'm going to take him out and put him in water and um, still spray him down with hydrogen peroxide like solution. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so number one, I need a big bowl, which, pause. Okay, here I have a clear bowl just any bowl, um, only because usually I do it like straight into the trash, but this, I'm gonna try and show somewhat what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take this guy. First, I'm gonna take off the hanger. A lot of people don't know that you can take off the hanger. I'm gonna show you how. Um, I'm so glad I finally figured it out. And it also seems like this guy didn't get quite as watered and it needs new soil anyway. So I think its best chance is gonna be living in water. Um, I have a nice large vase right here, which I think all of the roots should fit in. And I can take, I can trim some of the older leaves if I need. Um, if you saw in my houseplant tour video, I have some smaller little cuttings, um, but I also have some rooting for a friend. And those are definitely aphid free because they've been living in water and I haven't seen anything. So. The bugs scare me. All you have to do is they clip on so they have the hooks, right? If you pull back, so if you pull back, you can lift up the inside and it comes right off. Pretty easy. Um, the trick though is when putting them back on, they, they are particular spots where they go. So you have to look for those indentations, the markings on your pot, and make sure that they're going back into the right spot. Okay, here we go. Like, seriously, this thing, watch. And I think this is why it still has bugs. Ah. It's because it's literally just in cocoa core, or like peat moss. Try and keep my eye on the pieces that have the bugs, so that way they don't fling around my kitchen either. Successfully got out of the pot, and then I'm just gonna gently start massaging the roots. Sorry for the light quality, by the way. It's dark. I just got back from class, um, and I decided I need to do this now. And I might as well just cord it. So this is getting everywhere. This is so dry. Oh my god. Okay. 
I'm going to try and remove as many roots as I can just because that's where the bugs live. And I am just going to take the cuttings, the vines out because no plants you buy at the nursery are all, hardly any of them are just grown from seed, right? They all start from somewhere and usually they're from stem cuttings. So therefore I'm going to take each of these vine cuttings <laughs> and just place them in my sink because now I'm, I've lifted up off the sink just so you can see a little bit better. Okay. There's one. And I'll clean them more in a little bit. Yep. I should have repotted this guy a lot sooner, but I didn't. I don't really like messing with my bigger ones too much just because they're harder to deal with. Two. Now the ones with the bugs are coming up, and I'm gonna put them in a separate, or the ones that I know. Oh, I see him moving, that's gross. Um, I'm going to put those directly in a different container. So here's the big guy that has our friends. I'm gonna put him in a separate container. Okay. And then there's another little stem coming up here soon. Yeah, this guy definitely didn't. He needs he needed different soil before I even watered him. Yeah, this was long overdue. This long boy has a couple of other friends, so he's going in the other container too. And oh, it's so pretty. We so happy when it's planted the way I want it to. Because then I, I like rearranging my plants um, sometimes. So, oh, dusty. It's not even dirty, it's dusty. So now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to go vine by vine and clear off the dirt a little bit more. And then give them a little bit of a better inspection too. The places that I've noticed the most where aphids usually like to gather is right in the leaf joints. So like right where the nodes are basically. This is my only plant I've experienced bugs with. Um, I had another Calathea that had spider mites and I just threw it away because I didn't really care. That was $10 at Lowe's. Um, this guy looks completely fine. So I'm just gonna set him, like, I'm just gonna put him into the little vase for now that we're gonna use. Oh, see it already looks cute. And maybe I'll just grow this guy in water. Um, I do have one that just that is growing in Lekka, and it's doing pretty well. The one I have um, propagating is also doing well, so I might just put some Lekka in there and let him grow for a little bit. I'm still undecided. Um, I think I'm just gonna do water for now, and then if I want to do Lekka. The other place where I've seen them a lot is just underneath the leaf, the leaf um, just hanging out. So in the node and under the leaves. And usually on the newer growth too. Maybe it's that fresh chlorophyll. Let's see. looks like it might be egg sacs I'm not quite sure they're brown um, but they're but the other ones I've shown you were oh well I just broke that leaf off so bye bye okay but I don't see any more anywhere else so that's a good sign
And it's sad because I was seeing new growth after I had the other spell. So our energy um, company had put signs on our apartment doors saying, hey, awesome room, but that's okay. Saying, hey, we're gonna be coming around um, with a landlord and we're just gonna be doing some energy efficiency maintenance on the place. And I was like, okay, cool. But on here it says that they're gonna be changing out light bulbs. So I got really worried about my grow lights. <clears throat> so I made a point today to stay out of the house all day long because I don't like confrontation. I don't wanna be like disturbed when I don't, no one they're gonna be here but they give a huge window so it was from 9 a.m to 4 p.m so i spent the whole day um just doing work for school which is fine it got me actually being productive which is what i need to do but i wrote a sign and i put it on the door and i was like hey the grow lights are energy efficient they're only nine watts please don't don't mess with them please <laughs> and they didn't they literally the only thing they did was put a new um, spout, a new spigot on our faucet. That's it, that's literally it. They opened our, um, they looked in the shower, but they didn't do anything. So it was just, I will, I'm glad I was gone because when I didn't have that confrontation. So, and I did get a lot of work done. So there's that as well. Isn't it Nick Pileggi who said that he's never had any pests with his wax plant? I should tag him. Be like, yo, this thing happened. Also, I will forewarn you of where I got this from. I got it from the flower bin in Longmont. So purchase at your own um, will and your own risk. But I have bought plenty of plants there that are perfectly healthy. It's just a a great disappointment that a plant that I've been looking for a huge pot of happened to have um, bugs and for the exact reason that I bought it for was to not have bugs because they had mentioned that so it sucks and it's the irony or it's a coincidence it's not irony but it just sucks this one's really dirty it's fine but there are no bugs on him. I can rinse the leaves. Jar is turning out pretty. Speaking of my little story, I want you to tell me one thing that you were happy about today. Something that you were happy that happened. I was happy I was not here when they came by and did maintenance. What are you happy about today? Not what are you thankful for, not what are you grateful for. Just something that you're happy about. Just because everyone's happy, but no one takes a point to really understand why they're happy. Happiness is one of the emotions that people remember last. You always remember something bad that happened to you, but when's the last time you remembered something really good happened to you? Um, okay, so this one has like no, oops, this one has like no roots on it, so I'm going to just stick this with my other propagation right now. Just double checking. And it does have a really nice node. That should be good. But I can see the roots on the other one and it looks really good. Um, oh, it looks like this guy is a similar case. Does that help? Ooh, YouTuber, ooh, okay. Um, <laughs> was it just like, the trio did on all of their videos. My Clean Leaves and Not Dude and De La Plants. They did the mini, they had the tiny hands and they're like, we're YouTubers now. That was pretty funny. Okay, so I got through that pile. So the, the ones left are the ones with the aphids on them. I am gonna take a second to get my spray bottle and to um, gather the ingredients and I will be right back. Okay, so we're back after I took like 10 minutes to try and find my neem oil mixture, not hydrogen peroxide, I meant neem oil, um, neem oil mixture. I've used this on my Hoyas, not my bigger Hoyas. One time when I bottom watered, um, smells god awful, but it'll work on these little, these little fellows. So I'm gonna start and 
um, do the ones, which I still didn't even take the, the dirt off of the roots, do the ones that are infected, then I'm gonna go and do the ones that are not yet rinse, put in water, happy day. Okay. It's the same stem that was infected last time too, so I know something happened. I wasn't doing something carefully enough. So we'll see. Like I said, this is all a journey. Take everything I said with a grain of salt. Um, <laughs> and do your own research and do your own like plant work and study your own plants because everyone's experience is going to be different and I learn from different perspectives and I have learned the most just from studying my plants and by knowing which kind of plants could live in my environment. So you also have to think about that when you're buying plants. Okay, so here's Gross, Bit, Gross Boy. My sink is filthy right now. So I'm going to start by spring. I'm gonna open a window though because I know this is gonna smell bad. Okay. So just shot all those guys. I'm gonna do a once over on the rest of the plant of this vine and then do the exact same with the other one. You want to make sure to get every single part of the leaf saturated. So essentially what neem oil does is it's an oil derivative and mixed with um, soap, like Castile soap, um, it, and water, <laughs> it just like creates a mixture that inhibits the bugs from breathing and so they just basically die and yeah it's a more natural way to do it it's um like organic and we'll see if it works So what I'm going to do now is do a quick once over with these guys and then, like I said, I'm just going to put them in the water. Sorry if I keep looking at myself, I'm not used to looking at the camera yet um, at all. Mm -hmm. I'm used to being on the other side of the camera. If you're interested, I also do photography. I can leave that Instagram below. Um, I will also leave my plant gram down below. Um, I mean, obviously most people are more active on their plant gram and so therefore that, so am I. <laughs> Not so therefore, but I, I am as well. And so if you feel so obliged, go ahead and check me out. Or if you're from there, hi. If you're from any of the groups on Facebook, hello. Um, if I, if you're from anywhere, hi, hello, my name is Ashley. I am a Colorado plant mom. You can find me on Instagram. You found me here on it, on YouTube. We're killing bugs. So I do think I am going to separate this main bunch from the other bunch um, just because I don't want any, just in case of anything lift, I don't want it to cross over. So that's what I realized that that might have just washed off all the neem oil. So here we go.
and that's it. So I am going to place these two separate and both away from <laughs> other plants and I will hope for the best and we will continue this journey together. I will update you um, further if anything happens, anything negative, anything positive. And yeah, I will catch you on the other side. Bye.